So staying with us, details have emerged of how a household murdered his employer at uh, Sokoban uh, near uh, Kumasi. The details uh, contained in court documents reveal the accused, uh, John Alista, got uh, tired, hired a day after applying for the position of a household from an Accra-based employment agency and allegedly committed the murder six days after resuming work. The Esokori Manpur District Court was told uh, how the key suspect applied to become a house help and got posted uh, the following day to his new employer. He ended up murdering. My colleague Gohim Tevi was in court and comes through with this report. <laughs> Alesta applied for work on September 4, 2023, and resumed work the following day, assigned to the woman he allegedly murdered in Kumasi. On September 11, 2023, at about 11 a.m., moments after the disease had prepared Fufu, which she enjoyed with the accused, she was stabbed in the stomach, hit several times on the head and face with a club. The accused is said to have taken advantage of the absence of the 11 year old daughter of his madame who had gone to school. According to police, Alesta, after committing the act, invited the second and third accused persons, that is James Anochi and Juan Collins, to the home of the deceased and bolted with a Kia Sportage vehicle with registration GS 307 21 Samsung mobile phone, Rice cooking oil and other valuable items. They then escaped to Accra, made contact with Biki, a fault accomplice who is at large, to sell the vehicle to Christian Obu, the fit accomplice who is also at large. Alistair, after the sale of his Madame's Kia Sportage vehicle, used some of the proceeds to buy a Toyota Vit car with registration number GS 3107-23. Whilst the second, third and fourth accomplices were being pursued, the fifth accused person abandoned the Kia Sportage vehicle at Uyibi police station and bolted. Following a report to the police, the crime scene management team discovered the body of the late Stella Osei, also known as Princess Efia Ahinkai, in the garage of her Apaso home. A blood-stained club, believed to have been used by the accused person to murder the woman, was also discovered at the crime scene on Tuesday, 12 September 2023. A police intelligence-led operation led to the arrest of the first and second accused persons in their hideouts in Accra on September 14, 2023. The two were then escorted to face trial in Kumasi. Prosecution, led by ASP Stephen Ofori, prayed the court to grant a request to release the Kia Sportage to the husband of the disease, whilst a Toyota Vit vehicle acquired with proceeds from the crime is also impounded by police. Despite the plea of the accused persons not being taken, the key suspect broke bounds, raised his hand and signaled the court he had something to say. He told the court he has accepted responsibility and pleaded with the court to be lenient with him before the Asakura Mampon should court. But prosecution, led by ASP Stephen Ofori, says due process would be followed in the trial. This is a case of murder and the due process has to be followed. Even though he has told the court that he admits whatever happened, but the due process must follow. So when the docket is completed, it will forward to AG for his advice before the processes will start. That's the saddest part. A father-in-law to the deceased, no, Yao Yabua, who witnessed no, proceedings in court, says he was saddened to hear five persons were involved in the murder. According to him, the husband of the deceased, who is based in the United Kingdom, has been crying all day over the callous murder of his wife. You arrived right from London, but you've been crying all along. From Asakwe Mampon for Joy News, Wahime Interior reporting. Oh, my God.